testing a theory again here. Um, I had to make a bit of a modification to the motor mount bracket here, um, so I could run the, um, the 14 tooth pinion and the um, the 54 tooth spur, because um, they wouldn't actually meet. There was actually a gap in there, probably on about seven or eight millimeters. Um, if I hold the, um, I've actually got these. I've actually got two two of these motor mount plates. That one there's the modified one. And if I can sort of slide the the stock one in here a bit, move around a bit, you can see the fair bit of difference in the length of the um, of where we mount the screws to hold of the motor motor plate uh, to the motor mount, I should say. Um, but yeah, that um, that's that taken care of. Now the um, now the motor will actually sit in there quite nicely against it. I've um, 14 tooth pinion, it's a Traxxas one. Um, I've got a, about half a dozen washers on each side. Um, I've had to do this so I can move the um, move the um, the pinion back um, away. Um, so that I can get the pinion to line up properly with the spur. Um, so now that that's all done, I can finish putting this all back together and I may not get it done tonight, it's pretty late and um, I might finish off the rest tomorrow. Cheers.